This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when creating geometry from an alpha, some polys of the model will not transform. So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating geometry from an alpha, and then after that mesh is created, when you go to transform the model, some of the polys are not transforming. So how can we go by resolving this? So to start off, I'm just going to cover how to quickly create a piece of geometry from an alpha. So to do this, you just need to navigate over to the alpha palette over here and open this up. In here, you can import in a custom alpha, or you can come across an alpha that's already selected, and this will open up this quick pick, and you can select one of the preloaded alphas ZBrush has. Now, I have gone through and imported in a cleft symbol. You can see this cleft symbol alpha right here. And after you have this alpha selected, I can now go down to the Make 3D area. In here, we have a bunch of different settings and a Make 3D button. So I'm going to first come across and adjust my mesh resolution here. So I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to type in, say, 512 and then hit Enter. And now I'm going to come across and click the Make 3D button. Now, when you click the Make 3D button, it's going to look at these values and the alpha you have selected and make a mesh from that alpha. So with the cleft symbol selected, when I click this, I now end up with this result. So it's taken the alpha and it's now generated geometry from that alpha. So at this stage, let's say I'm happy with my result here, and now I want to transform or move this. So I'm going to come up to the top and select Move, Scale, or Rotate, which will activate the Gizmo 3D. And as you'll notice, as I perform any of these functions, only part of the geometry is going. So you can see these other parts of the mesh seem to be locked, and they're not translating when I perform these actions. So what is happening here is that after you use the alpha make 3D option here, ZBrush is applying a mask to your model. So if I go over to the tool palette over here and go to the masking area and then click view mask, you'll see that the cleft symbol here has masking applied. So this is why when we go to perform a move scale or rotate with the gizmo 3D, we're getting this effect. So all we need to do is clear the mask on this mesh. And to do this, we can go to the tool masking area and click the clear button, or we can hold down control and drag off the model to clear the mask. Now after that mask is cleared, now we can perform those move, rotate, and scale options, and the geometry should no longer be skewed. So that process again is after you have used the alpha make 3D option here, there is going to be a mask that's going to be applied to your mesh. So we want to make sure that you come to the tool palette, go to the masking area, and click the clear button, or hold down control and drag off on an empty spot of your canvas to clear the mask on your model before coming through and processing those transformation features. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!